what you're gonna have today it's a knowledge of the chemistry part with the product that you're using how the products perform in the chemistry view so that way you know what are you doing you know what are you using and why are you using I'm a chemist I have 25 years of experience in cosmetic industry my last experience was to work for Johnson & Johnson Neutrogena company so a group of chemists we decided to develop our own hair care line Trump came to the market thinking about you to give you the right tools in order to develop your creativity. Chrome is a hair care line, everything to repair the hair. Chrome is about style, Chrome is about time, Chrome is about health, Chrome is about volume, Chrome is about shine. So the first of all, this is the picture that you really know. I think so from the beginning of the class, you know already the structures of the hairs. And you know already how damage get the hair when you do a chemical <coughs> process. All of us, we want to look beautiful, and, but unfortunately we have to use chemicals. So in order to compensate the damage from the chemicals on the hair, we develop chrome hair care products that I'm gonna explain to you how you're gonna use it. First of all, I want to let you know what is the pH. The pH is the scale between zero to 14. Seven is neutral. Zero to seven is acid, and seven to 14 is basic. All the chemicals that we're using on the hair are a strong chemical, which is between seven to 14. What's the reason that we're using strong chemicals on the hair? What happened, let me tell you, we have in our body, we have two types of proteins. The, the soft protein, it's on the skin, and the hard protein, it's on the hair. So that's why we need a strong chemicals with high pH in order to destroy the bones, in order to destroy the cortex, in order to open the cuticles. That's why we use a strong chemicals on the hair. When we apply a chemical on the hair, we destroy the proteins, we destroy all the goodies, the oils on the hair. So when we apply the chemical on the hair, the first thing that's gonna happen is the hair is gonna expand it. Okay, so the hair when expanded, destroy all the goodies on the hair. But uh, in order to the chemicals get inside the cuticles, but what happens if we leave the cuticle open? open. It comes out. Everything is going to come out and all your job is going to be destroyed. So what we have to do, we have to keep in mind that after we close open the cuticle, we have to use products with low pH or pH balance between 5 to 6 in order to close the cuticle. So that's our job to find out how we are going to close the cuticles, okay? So when we close the cuticles, we maintain the chemicals, we maintain the color of the hair. Have you heard many times people say, oh, yeah, the color is gone on my hair so easy. This product messed up my, my color. But it's not the product. It's you because you didn't close the cuticle, okay? It's easy to blame to the product, but we don't. It's because we don't know, maybe. That's why you didn't find out that you're responsible to close the cuticle. The first picture is the cuticle, the normal cuticle. The second picture is the cuticle when it's open. And the following picture is when the cuticle is closed with pH balance product. The first picture is the normal cuticle. The following picture are different type of damage with a different type of process. What's the, what's the, first, the second one? What product does that? Oh, the second one can be a bleach, can be a hot heat, you know. I'm going to explain to you what happened. Sometimes we put alcohol in the hair and we put flat irons, hot flat irons, and that type of damage also can cause on the hair. When we go under the sun, what's going to damage on our hair is 
the sun has a UV light, which can cause damage on our hair. So what we need to use, we need products which contain uh, ingredients that can repair and protect us from the sun. So what we need is UV protectors on our hair. Somebody can tell me at what temperature the water starts start boiling? 100. 100 degrees centigrade. 100 centigrade. Yeah. Great. That's good. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the class, I'm going to give you, okay? You. Perfect. Congratulations. The water start boiling at 212 Fahrenheit. Equal 100 centigrade. And what's the temperature of the flat iron that we are using in our hair? 3, 400, 450. So the average, let's say that everybody's using the flat irons at 400 Fahrenheit. So can you imagine 212 Fahrenheit to 400 Fahrenheit, how much heat we're applying on the hair. So what we need to know is we need products that contain heat protectors, okay? So UV protector and heat protectors. When we talk about color safe, we talk about pH balance, close the cuticle. That's the process what we are gonna be getting to save the color on the hair. Alcohol free. We are, we are alcohol free. Why most of the companies they like to put alcohol on the products? It's it's because it's easy process to develop a product and sell and put in the market. Why? Because all the chemicals that we're using on the hair, that's organic chemicals. These organic chemicals are easy to dissolve in alcohol. So it's good for everybody to sell the products, dissolve very easy in alcohol and put in the market. Nice cup, nice bottle, and the only thing you do is you go to the store, open the bottle, and say, oh, this is a good product. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Realize what is inside the bottle. So if the product has alcohol and you start using the flat iron at 400 Fahrenheit, what are you getting on the hair? Damage, split hair, very dry hair. So those are the things that you have to consider when you are gonna be getting a product. When you go to the store, you look at the label, the ingredients. I understand those are chemicals and it's hard for you to understand, but very easy. I would like to know if somebody can tell me what is the meaning of the ingredients on each bottle. The main ingredient, the first one that's on the, on the label, it has the more. Correct. Okay. What is the meaning of the order of the ingredients in the bottle? That means the first ingredient is the most, and the last ingredient is the least. Okay? So, you're gonna see in skincare products and the hair care products, you're gonna see that the, always the first ingredient is gonna be water. Always. So that means we are talking about between 60 to 80% of water in the product. Okay? If the second ingredient is alcohol, that means it's 20 or 30% of alcohol in the bottle. The next ingredient is gonna be 10, the following ingredient is gonna be two, and the last ingredient is gonna be a drop, like she said, okay? So that's the meaning of the order of the ingredients in the bottle. So that's very important for you. Every time to go to the beauty supply, please read the list of the ingredients and make sure it has alcohol. Chrome, we develop our products with alcohol free, except to the hairspray. Hairspray, we need to put alcohol in order to dry and hold the hair very nice. Okay? Freezy hairs. Have you seen the hair so freezy? Why? All the chemicals that we are using on hair, all the products that we are using on the hair, are negative charge, especially for the shampoo. When we are using a shampoo, all the chemicals are negative charge. All the conditioners are positive charge. That's why Chrome came up, came up 
to order in order to balance the negative with the positive in order for you to avoid greasy hair. You use uh, many people they like only to use shampoo. So if you use shampoo, you have negative charge in your hair. As a result, you end up with greasy hairs. Yes, you're gonna be getting the negative charge until you put maybe creams like we have hair food, or maybe you can put polish, you know, in order to put to neutralize the negative charge and get positive in your hair. Okay? So you said that the, your products have negative and positive, like in one? No, or I'm saying shampoo is negative, conditioner is positive. So you have to mix together in order to avoid frizzy hairs. Okay. Okay. Is oil is a negative positive charge like coconut oil? If oils can be a positive, it's a positive, but at the same thing has a lot of a lot of uh, fat because oil is fat. So the fat is gonna be uh, where, neutralize where? neutralize the negative, bring down, you know, like just molecule? force. It's, in this case, it's forcing the oil to bring down the freeze. Like it's a big molecule, so it won't go. Yes. So yes, exactly. Okay, perfect. So we have products that we are gonna be avoiding the frizzy hairs. Sulfate free. Everybody, have you heard about the sulfate free? Everybody's famous with the sulfate free. Yeah. Sulfate free, sulfate free. <clears throat> but somebody can tell me what is the meaning of sulfate free? Yes. Perfect. What did you say? Sulfate free, it's a product when doesn't have doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate or ammonium lauryl sulfate. But what are these chemicals? Sodium lauryl sulfate, ammonium lauryl sulfate are the sur the cleaning agent Surfactant. are the cleaning agent of the product for the shampoo. So if we have a, a cup of water with one teaspoon of sodium lauryl sulfate or ammonium lauryl sulfate in a bottle, we are gonna have this solution. But this solution is like a water. If, if I sell it to you, basically this is a shampoo. If I sell it to you as a shampoo, you're gonna tell me, oh no, that's a water. But what nobody knows, that sodium lauryl sulfate with two more ingredients, which is basically the detergent, basically the, the cleaning agent, are this solution, okay? And we have salt. This is salt. The salt that we're using for to drink the tequila, it's the same salt. We have here the solution, sodium lauryl sulfate, ammonium lauryl sulfate, plus two more chemicals, and the salt. So we are gonna be adding salt. We are gonna be adding salt in this solution. And you're gonna tell me how much salt you want me to put it. Have you seen how much salt I put it? It's already a lot, okay? So, when you put salt in this solution, it thickens. It's thicker? Yeah. It's gonna get thicker. <coughs> it's a psychological see? effect. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. And a lot of salt. Very nice shampoo. You go to the store. Oh, this is the best shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know what you get, eh? You know? This is the way we make shampoo with sodium lauryl sulfate. Do we need salt in our hair? No. No. That's why people end up with a dry scalp, itchy scalp, dandruff, losing the hair. And we don't know what's going on, you know? That's why we have to know what we are buying on the store. Chrome came to the market with sulfate-free shampoo. But be careful. For marketing purpose, 
so many companies they are putting also the name sulfate free and the conditioner. But please, the conditioner doesn't have any ingredients which can be sulfate free. Just is marketing. This is the way we make easy a shampoo. Have you seen the 99 cents store big bottles, one dollar? This is the way. Water, water, the cleaning agent, very good fragrance, bingo, and one dollar show. Uh -huh. But at least they are honest. They are charging you one dollar. Yeah. Some other companies know. Right. You pay a lot of money and you don't know what are you buy. So please on my, keep on mind what is the meaning of sulfate free in the future. That way you can recommend your customers what to use. Remember, if a customer doesn't have a healthy hair, who's gonna suffer in the future? You, because the customer just sit on the chair, oh no, I want red, I want blonde. But uh, if you don't keep the healthy hair on your customer, you're gonna be suffering and strangling because you're not gonna tell the customer, oh, you know what, last time when you came, I damaged your hair and I cannot do any more job in your hair. Mm -hmm. Right. No. So you better make sure that your customer keep healthy hair for make to your life easy. When we talk about the strong chemicals that we are using on chemical processing our hair, we talk about that we open the cuticle and we destroy and remove all the goodies from the hair. What, but what are the goodies on the hair? Are the proteins, natural oils in our hair, natural extracts in our hair. So we need to put it, we need products like a conditioners, like a treatments, in order to put it back, all the goodies on the hair. So that's another responsibility that you have to maintain healthy hair with proteins, with vitamins, with extracts, with oils to put it back and maintain healthy. This is a picture that we talk about polish plus alcohol plus flat irons. Can you see? Ouch! How, how much damage is the hair? This is the flat irons. Any type of flat iron, ceramic, ionic, everything is gonna reach the 400 Fahrenheit. So if you use alcohol in the products and you use any type of flat irons, you're gonna still damage the hair. We have UV lights. UV lights is gonna damage and the heat is gonna damage our hair. Water plus sulfate plus salt equal shampoo. So we know that about, we know about dry scalp, dandruff, and loose of hair. When you have a dandruff problem, you have to fix the problem with dandruff shampoo, please. Many times people think that changing the brand, they're gonna fix the dandruff problems. No, when you end up with dandruff, you have to fix the dandruff problem with a specific shampoo for dandruff. There is in the market shampoo for dandruff, which has two chemicals very important, that is gonna help you to fix the dandruff. So I recommend it to use dandruff, a specific dandruff shampoo. What are the chemicals? When the zinc amodine is one of the chemicals, zinc amodine, that we are gonna help to, to help to fix the dandruff. When you're losing the hair, that's a big problem. People are losing the hair. If you're losing the hair for stress, you have to go to the doctor. If you're losing the hair because of the age, you cannot just do anything. You know, by the age, we start losing more and more amount of hair. But if you're losing the hair because of the product with salt that you're using, you have to find out what type of scalp the customer has. Why? Because if the scalp is so greasy, the fat and the oil is gonna clog the pore and then the hair is not gonna grow. So we need a kilero shampoo or clarified shampoo which has a little bit high pH than a regular shampoo in order to open the pore on the scalp. People who has a fat, greasy scalp, they have to wash very good with clear shampoo or clarified shampoo or kilero shampoo. A little bit high pH, clean the pore, and the hair start coming out. So 
most of the time people lose the hair when it's jumper, so they lose the hair because of the fat on the scalp. So we know already about the dandruff, how to fix the dandruff, how to fix the hair loss. This is the pore that we're talking about, which is clack with the fat. We clean it, it's open, and the hair starts growing. We have Biotin Plus. Biotin Plus shampoo is a shampoo which has a beads. <coughs> the beads as, is going to help in or, clean the scalp, and the beads is going to help the like, exfoliator to remove the fat from the pore. Okay? And then we have a conditioner, a conditioner which has menthol. What's the function of the menthol in the hair? The menthol goes deep to the pore and extract the fat and clean the pore. So we have this set of products for the hair loss treatment. We came up with a product with the hair food. Hair food is a hair care treatment. It has proteins, collagen, vitamins, in order to repair the hair. What the hair needs, proteins, vitamins, and oil to maintain on the hair. So this product is a living treatment. It's not a rinse out treatment. At the beginning, when we came up to the market with this product, so many customers, they don't used to put and leave the product on the hair. So they were complaining, no, I don't like to leave the products on the hair. You need to apply products and leave on the hair to give the opportunity to repair, to become healthy. So hair food came up to the market as a living treatment. But later on, so many hairstyles, they found a lot of functions in these products. For example, you can put the hair food in wet hair, you can put the hair food in dry hair every day, and also this product is gonna help you to detangle. And also this product is gonna help you to straight the hair. So this product has a multiple function, that's why it's our famous number one product. When people they were complaining that they don't like to leave the proteins or the leave-in treatment on the hair, they don't wanna leave in, we came up with hair mask. Hair mask has a little bit more percentage, the proteins and oils. More. Why? Because we hair mask, you can use it as deep repair conditioner. You apply in the hair after a chemical and you can rinse out. We have two types of shampoo. Body shot shampoo and moisture clean shampoo. Body shot shampoo we made on order for fine hair and moisture clean shampoo for coarse hair. Okay? Why? Most of the time people they love moisture clean and body shot. But body shot was made for people for fine hair. People with fine hair are very weak hair. Also, they don't have too much hair. So we have more goodies in here because of the weakness of the hair. Such as, like, what, what products does that one have for the fine hair? The body shot shampoo. We have vitamins, and we have proteins, and we have extra, a little bit more. In order, in order to make it strong, the weak hair. Okay. We have one regular daily conditioner that we call a smooth. We have two types of reconstructor: fixed reconstructor and saturation. These reconstructors, the different is saturation is specific for people who has a curly hair. People with curly hair has a puffiness. So saturation bring down all the puffiness from the hair. Fix reconstructor for any type of chemical process as a reconstructor. The hair of the customer is already dry, so the water is not gonna detangle. The, I saw many times a hair stylist that they apply water and they start comb, comb the hair, but when the hair is so tangled, you start Pulling the hair, the hair stylist and do the job very professional. You have to look professional. So in, instead of pulling the hair of the customer, I recommend it to use Unleash as a living conditioner. Instead of water, you spray Unleash and then comb the hair very easy and start doing the job on the customer. Okay, this is the hair, red hair. And this is the hair, red hair with extensions. 
The extension is a beautiful job. And also costs a lot of money. So, but the hair extension has a process. When you have a hair extension, you cannot wash your hair as a regular basis. So what you have to do, you're not gonna wash your hair, so every day you're gonna wake up so messy. Of course, because it's a long hair, hair extension. If it's curly, it's gonna be worse. So the day you don't wash your hair, when you don't wash your hair, I recommend it to use spray shine and unleash on the hair and you can comb your hair and you can put the curls and you can do everything on your extension when you don't wash your hair. If you wash your hair, if you wash your hair, you have to use first of all the reconstructor. Remember, the extensions, the extensions, they say natural hair, but nothing is gonna natural. Everything is synthetic. So this is, this is synthetic, it's gonna be dry. So you apply fixed reconstructor on the hair, then you rinse out, apply the shampoo, you apply the shampoo on the scalp, and just wash the scalp with massage, like a, avoiding the circle, like a massage. Don't use the circle process, because you're gonna tangle the hair. What we have to avoid is to tangle all the hair stages. So after you massage the hair with the shampoo, you put it back again, fix, reconstruct. So these four products is gonna be the set of product for the extension treatment. And at the end of the process of washing the hair extension, I recommend that you use also to use hair food. Nice hair extensions, straight or curly, needs a process to take care. Unleash, we talk about unleash, that's enough, uh, that's only one hair. Can you imagine so many hairs, how many tangles that you're going to end up? That takes out the knots in the hair? Yes, that's one knot. It takes out the knots in the hair? <laughs> no, it's hard because that, that, tang that knot is going to be a knot with another one, so it's like a big uh, a red. <laughs> Three type of gels: blown mist, blown soft, and blown hard. For the for your class finger waves class, this one is gonna help you to do the finger waves. And also the blown hard is for a spiky, but a very very soft spike. People they were saying that this gel is not strong enough. It's not strong enough. They want very hard holding gel. So we came up with these gels, the green one and the blue one. This one is R4 spiky gels. We talk about blonde mist, nice natural curls. We talk about blonde soft, crunchy waves. The curl up, that's the lotion that I'm telling you for soft curls. Body shot spray and chrome plate. Body shot spray is the hairspray without alcohol. Chrome plate, it's with alcohol. Body shot spray, because it doesn't have too much alcohol, it's a light holding. A chrome plate, which has alcohol, has a lot of holding. With chrome plate, you can make beautiful abdus. I recommend it to you if you want to make an abdus. Chrome plate is the best product for abdus. That's hairspray? Yes, chrome And you said that that's the only one that has alcohol, right? That's the one. Have you noticed when you apply hairspray on the hair and then you notice something dusty, especially when you remove, you feel something dusty? Okay, what happened is, let's make a hairspray right now. What is in the hairspray? The first ingredient is gonna be? Alcohol. Water. water. Oh, yes. The first alcohol. ingredient always is water. The second ingredient is gonna be alcohol. alcohol. The, third the third ingredient is gonna be, let's say, we call chemical is resin, okay? But let's say it's the glue. Sulfate? Let's see the glue. No, always. sulfate, no, always sulfate is only shampoo. So the third ingredient is gonna be, let's say the uh, commercial name, the glue, mm -hmm. in order to hold the hair. But 
What nobody knows that that glue need a neutralizer. The same when you use the tire glyco and you need to put the neutralizer in the tire glyco is the same thing that you need that glue needs a neutralizer. But most of the company they don't want to put the neutralizer because they want to save money. So people cares only the holding. So that we have water, alcohol, and glue. But what happened with that glue? When the glue, when the alcohol dry, the glue stick the hair, so the glue crack, and that's the dusty thing, dusty feeling that you get from some hairspray. Okay, that means the, the hairspray didn't have a neutralizer in order like to avoid it. to bulk. I don't know the brands. Yes, you know. <laughs> okay, so be careful with that. That's the meaning of the dusty feeling on the hair when you use some type of hairspray, okay? Our hairspray, no flakes at all. Oh, this is a very good experience. This one was in the school in Texas. The student developed this style on hair. Look at this, only with chrome plate. That's the job she did, only with chrome plate. How nice and shiny. This, the school is like light like this. This is not a special effect. You see how nice and shines the hair? And that the style that we got with hair spray, with crumpling. Good picture that I have as a student from Los Angeles. I went to school, I did a demo, and the student got my products. And I didn't know that the students were gonna use on the contest. They had a big contest, okay? And they were the winners. And they used my products on this type of a style. But uh, you know, you need the right products in order to develop your creativity. And bingo, you made the life. You know. That's why. She was the winner of that, she with that student. style. She was all the way to Kansas National Competition. Oh, really? That's good, you see? <laughs> you see, yes. Uh, is that is here? That uh, no, this one is in downtown, in East LA. Yes. Yeah. Okay, body shot, hairspray, and pomade. You can use, you can combine. Also, it's very good for you to experiment with the products and get your own cocktail. For example, chrome plate with four plate is gonna be good combination for to avoid too much holding. If you don't want too much holding, you can mix all these two products. So here we have a moisture lotion. Remember, you're using chemicals, your hand is so dry, so you, have, you need moisture lotions in your hands in order to maintain healthy hands too, you know? Okay, here I'm talking about the environmental. When, when you, we are very, have, we are responsible to maintain the environmental very friendly. Remember, right now there is no rain because of the ozone. You see, now we are enjoying with the sun, but it's not good for us because we need rain, we need fruit, we need plants, you know? So what happens is Chrome doesn't have hairspray in cans. Why? Because the cans, half is the product and half is the gas. That gas which is causing the damage to the ozone. So Chrome is environmental friendly. Be careful with that. Okay? We are environmental friendly. You have to think about the environmental, not only because of the ozone, also because of your lungs. Remember, you're in the salon which is closed, there is no much vent, so you're breathing all the chemicals all the time. Be careful with the chemicals that you're using and avoid the contamination to the environmental. Remember this, the lead, the formaldehyde, the hydroquinol, the parabens, are so many chemicals that can cause cancer in your body. You see the braids? Yes. Simple and nice. Parabens. Um, Good. What are they doing? I know that like, um, I think it's for to preserve the life span, span of the... Okay. You're going to see in all... Thank you for the question. You're going to see always as a last ingredient, methyl and propyl parabens. Yes. Methyl and propyl parabens are preservatives in order to extend the life of the product on the shelf. Uh, so parabens uh, has been found that is causing problems on the health. So we are trying to avoid parabens. We have to use natural preservatives in order to like avoid. What? Uh, we are using potassium sorbate and sodium uh, potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate. 
most of the chemicals that we are using in order to preserve the products and avoid cause of problems in your health. Okay, if you don't have more questions, remember, your knowledge and skill make your client look and feel their best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Milka. Thank you.